What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here again, and today I want to show you guys how to edit your PS, which is your prompting statement. Now, if you notice, you may watch other videos on YouTube or see other people, and if you ever look at anyone's terminal, you may notice, oh hey, their terminal is different than mine. And their terminal may have some cool information such as, you know, the date, time, where they are in the directory. For instance, notice if I CD up in my directory into my root, now I'm now this it went from documents to kind of to this root symbol right here. And I've got my time and I've got my the 512 and 511 indicate the number of commands I've used in this terminal. And every time I type a command, that number goes up, as you can see 513 right there. So how do we customize this? How do we get it into the awesome options that I have now or change it to anything we want to do? And that's actually pretty simple. So what we're gonna do here is I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is simply have your terminal open, just like I do, and you want to be in your root directory because that is where um, your shell is going to look by default to load your bash profile file. And just like in my other videos, I showed you guys the bash rc file. Well, now we're going to edit the dot bash profile, which has a underscore in between it. Do not forget that underscore. So I'm going to do. I'm going to edit it with my text editor. And as you can see, there's going to be a lot of things here. But what I really want is this PS1. And there's different versions of prompt statements. PS stands for prompt statements. There's PS1, PS2, PS3, and PS4. I'm going to include a link which talks about all of them. But the dominant one you want to change is PS1. It's the, you know, it's like the 99 percentile one where you're going to be changing that the most. And so what I simply do is just like an alias, I kind of, I want to give it what I want. So I'm going to say PS1, that is what I want my prompting statement to be. And then I'm going to give it all of these commands here. So as you can see here, I have kind of the different things I showed you. So slash exclamation mark is the number of commands. Now I'm going to show you guys a link which explains how all of these works and gives you dozens of more symbols for you to customize your thing. Slash D is the date and slash T is the time, and then in is just what I want, so I literally have that in in my thing, and slash W is the working directory I'm currently in, and the dollar sign is just to indicate that, okay, that's the end of my prompt statement, you can start typing things. So let me just change it right now to something simple, like slash D, which is the date, and then I'm gonna change it to slash H, which is something that I haven't shown you guys, but that is the host name of the computer. So I'm gonna change my PS, my PS1 command into my bash profile. I'm still leave the dollar sign and I'm going to save this, write it to bash profile. And now if you notice here, um, my thing is still the same. And that is because my statement above my prop, my um, prompt statement is still the same. And what I need to do is I need to reload it. And I'm going to do that by doing source dot bash profile. And so I need to reload it. So my shell kind of reloads it and then can execute that prompt statement. The, uh, something else I could do is I could just I could just exit out of the terminal and reload a new one and now we'll exit and do the same thing. But you know, that can kind of get annoying and I want to show you guys this. So now as you can see, I just have the date, Tuesday, May 20th, and I have AJ's MacBook Air. So that's pretty cool. I was able to change my problem statement. I was able to change it. I was able to show you guys how to, you know, reformat it and edit it. And so now something I want to show you guys is I want to switch to over here. I want to switch to cybercity.biz right here, which is um, another great site, which is has all these um, Unix craft. It has these all these tips on how to change your custom bash setup, which you could just Google, which I always am a strong proponent of. Trust me, something somebody on the internet knows more than you and you should find them. So these are all the different, I showed you guys how to set up the problem statement, the prompt statement, not the problem statement. And there you, now I have all these different commands I showed you guys how to implement. So you can do ASCII characters, you can do um, W, which is the working directory, you can do the version of your bash shell, you can do the current time in many different formats, and then it shows you know little examples, how to display the time, how to nicely do things, and then it even tells you how to get colors to the prompt, which can just be done by editing that one PS1 command. So if you guys have any questions, please post them below. I'll post this link in the description. It is a great thing to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And now I hope you remember how to change your prompt. I'll see you guys later.